first step i just want to start this video by saying thank you to all my supporters for supporting me for all this long journey um this video i really just am so grateful for creation um to all of the supplies i'm getting shout out to all of my trans out there trans baby liberty i love you um a lot of you guys have been asking me about the things about my transition. And I just want to say, my journey has been so beautiful. It has not been perfect, but it's been beautiful. I'm so gracious, humbled at this point in my life. I really feel like I would just love to collab more with a lot of my LGBT more. There's so many who like trailblaze and broke down that door for me to be here. There's so many doors that I've opened up on YouTube, um, on social media in general. Um, just so many doors that I opened up and I'm so gracious for that being how it is now it is. I really am starting to show a lot of my growth now and growing up now in my life. I'm starting to see life through a different lens. And that's such a grateful thing. I really want to say just in like a really good era of just like love, productiveness, consistency, abundance, all of that good stuff. And I'm declaring that in my life. I'm declaring that in your life too. We're getting that goal driven our life our living our dreams like a luxury all that stuff it's in, inside it's not about things that's one thing i learned about my journey is like when i was younger and i was a little boy and i just thought oh my god when i become this girl it's just gonna be so much better and i look back and i'm like i wish i could go back to that little boy and say you just want to be this little girl who express yourself i love you take your time be grateful for your journey. I used to look back like the other day I went over to my grandmother's house. I'm going to show a few pictures. I went over to my grandmother's house and there was pictures just hanging up. And I was like, oh my goodness, these pictures. And I wasn't saying it in a bad way. And then I was thinking to myself, like, I love these pictures. They mean so much to me. I do not erase that. And I feel like with anybody that's just not even transgender or anything, cisgender, anything, what you are, whatever you identify as, whatever your problems are, we all want to embrace a change in our life. And you have to change it, love it. You can either let that change make you so bad, or you can let it make you better. You can let it make you pitiful, or let it make you powerful. And I look back and I, I feel so powerful for my journey. I'm so grateful. So yeah, without further ado, if you are not slaying, what the fuck are you saying? Slaying is being in the same thing. And yeah, let's get started with this beautiful video. Slay. Let's see your hair turn gray. So this video is mainly going to be about my estrogen journey, all of my journey within it. A lot of you guys have been asking me a lot of questions like, Bambi, are you detransitioning this or that? First of all, never. I am the trailblazer for transgender. 
I feel like I represent the T in it. I am 100% that fellowship, that journey of it that you follow within your journey book. I shared that journey within everybody and that is something that I hold within my heart every day with pride and honor. A good way than pride. A really good way within pride. Like showing it as a badge of honor. I love myself. It's so many like opportunities that I have been denied from just for being trans and I love myself for it because it's like you know what I am setting that role for somebody to have it easier for me I get so many messages from transgenders like you inspire me to be myself you inspire me to keep going even like cisgender women cisgender men anybody that's not even in LGBT like they just be like you inspire me and I'm like thank you so much and it's just because of that strive I am that trailblazer that guide within it I am that trailblazer I opened up that door and that is something that I hold within my heart, within everybody to just be themselves. So many YouTubers I inspire. Never got to get my credit, but I always, you know, am so grateful and gracious for it. So many, you know, some of your favorite, favorite, favorites. DM me like, you know, I really appreciate you. I love you. And then y'all be like, you know, why don't y'all collab? And I'm like, you know what? It's all love. It's all peace and love and abundance. His family get her love. And she spread her love because that's what you do as a real one. That's what I do. And, but then it's Bambi. I have to just say, I am not detransitioning. Get that bull S I T K out of your little brain or your big brain or your puzzled brain because that's not something that's going on. I am 100% myself. T Hunt T. <laughs> I am a makeup addict. I love my makeup and it's laying automatic. <laughs> I just had some blood work done the other day and I just was thinking like, you know what? Why not do an update video on my hormones and let everybody know the update on like what's everything going on within that. So yeah, I just kind of just jumped into the whole thing of it. But that is that. Okay, so within my hormones, a lot of you guys have been asking me, Bambi, are you still on your HRT? How's it going? Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this with that? And it has been going within this car. You see, I'm right driving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ahead in my life on the highway just going as fast as I can just enjoying my life being abundant just doing myself and I just decided you know what I do not want to take my HRT no more I literally just stopped for like a whole month and it was like two months that went by it was three months that went by it was four months that went by it was five months that went by and my body completely changed my mind completely changed and this was like 2021 what happened was like my blood level was so off and it's like when I went to the doctors literally the other day they told me like because you did that back then and then now it's literally like a change because the testosterone and then mixed with the extra gel mixed up together it just kind of mixed up like in the wrong way and just like in a formula but I'm still good like I can still you know have kids and all of that good stuff and all of that good you know cute stuff that we can talk about but yeah i'm really excited about that and um i'm really much back on my hrt i really want to start getting injections but i really don't want to get that because a lot of people have been saying like it's a difference within your body that it gets and it's with a good way and such but it's like i'm kind of comfortable with the way that i am right now but maybe in the future i might get that so yeah right now i really just feel like a butterfly in my transition right now I'm not really the full butterfly, but I would say that I'm pretty much like my tattoo here. I'm pretty much just in my cocoon, but then I'm still have a little bit of my wings already showing because I'm really much just growing within my life. It's been so much that I've been going through. Literally like with taking my extra gel and then getting back on it and then with not, I went through a whole thing where I just got into like a whole lazy girl era. I was literally having to tell myself, like, girl, get up, get up. What are you doing right now? Like, let's get back focused. Let's stop procrastination. 
I'm saying that so wrong. <laughs> let's stop the procrastination and all that stuff. Let's get back up. Let's strive. Let's come on. Get consistency. And I've got to be honest with y'all. Literally how I've been getting it is just by praying to God and just been getting and asking him. Please ground me. Please just ground me, universe. Just please just help me go in a good way in my life. It's been so much that I've just been like trying to get through within. Oh my goodness. All of that. There was also one more thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Oh yeah. So I was seeing something like some people like they get like different pronouns and stuff like that. Like my pronouns are still she. I know who I am and I strive who I am and I'm strong within myself. And it's like hormones or not a hormones. And this is for all of my people in the LGBT, all of my babies that's going through a lot of stuff or anything in that anything. I feel like everybody just going through a lot of bullshit. Anybody just in general. I just want to say to just always strive to be the best. Like within being on my life and my channel, like sometimes I can be very much publicly. Sometimes I can be too much animated and share a lot. But sometimes, you know, I do get down. Sometimes I have days where I'm like, you know what? I need somebody to motivate me. I need my own, you know, zen time to get myself together. I really be needing that time. And it's like, to get yourself out of that moment is a hard thing. But you got to congratulate yourself on how far that you've come, how much you accomplished. You got to say, I really thank you. Gracias to yourself, you know, for achieving this. Multiblesioso. This blessing is really much established from you. You know, it's very much something to appreciate within your life. So just appreciate where you're coming from with your milestone. And I just appreciate all you guys for being here with me on this journey in my life. And yeah, so this is going to be the end of this video. And I'm going to see you guys later. I really, 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 really hope that you guys have a really fun and abundant day full of joy, peace, and all of that good stuff. And please, 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 always remember. If you are not slaying, then what the fuck are you saying? And slaying to your hair to your bitch. And this video was so much fun to do. Tell me how I should do more videos like this, more updates. And yeah, so this was that and that was this. And that's on that. Peace out. Last time around, cause Damn. last time around Damn. you was trying to draw me down. Damn. You had me to scissors, so Damn. I led you to the door. Walk a mile in my shoes, I'm looking on the outside in. Ain't nobody hear me shit. Blisters on my toes, walking to that job. Cause the way I fucking am, they ain't give me that job. Rats and roaches, I was trying to give a gave up, then a whisper in my ears told me just finish. Fear is temporary, but regret is forever. Can't be ready for success if you're afraid of fucking failure. Something to prove, alert, turn up my news. I would not fucking lose. Confident, conceited, can get enough of myself. Me, myself. And I who I had when I needed help If I don't like you, I won't pretend I ain't stopping till I motherfucking win Fear is temporary, but regret is forever. Can't be ready for success if you're afraid of fucking failure. Fear is temporary, but regret is forever. Can't be ready for success if you're afraid of fucking failure.